My name is Eric Wilkins, a system engineer with Arvig, and today I have with me... Justin Grotejohn, network engineer with Arvig. So today we're going to try and demystify what is speed and what is bandwidth, and why it's important to you as a home or a business user. So let's start with a very simple explanation. This here could represent a... 10 meg pipe? 10 meg pipe. So we're going to push about this much data through that pipe at the same time, and we're not going to notice any bad performance, or as I like to call it, the spinning, queuing, waiting icon. Now, if we take the next size pipe, let's say it's a... Let's say 25 meg. 25 meg pipe. <clears throat> Notice that we're pushing more data through this. That means that all of the data that we push through in the 10 meg pipe is going to be able to go through plus more, thereby giving us more data flowing at the same time. But now when we look at this third pipe, which let's call a... Let's say it's a 50 meg pipe. A 50 meg pipe. So 50 meg pipe means we're going to push this much data through at the same time. And if we think about it, that means we're going to push all of this, which equates to this plus this, and we still have more room. Now why, why would that be important to our end users? The size of your pipe and, the, and how many devices is going to directly correlate to the amount of speed you experience. If you have a pipe that's this big and you're trying to push a lot of devices on it, you're going to run into congestion. And that's going to create slow speeds on your network. Here we've got a funnel in a container. This is going to represent our pipe. These glasses are going to represent, with water, are going to represent our users or devices for, per se. So with one device, we can see that the water flows through that pipe relatively quickly. So let me understand. The size of the end of the funnel here is the bandwidth. Yeah, correct. And how fast that water flowed through is, is the, speed. the speed? Correct. OK. In most households, you have multiple devices. Most people don't just have one. If you get into a household like mine, we've got iPads and iPods and tablets and computers and smart TVs and all sorts of devices that connect to the internet, some that you might not even know about. So let's go with an average household, you know, let's say two users. Okay. So what I noticed is, is that the water still flowed through at the same rate, but it took longer for the two cups of water to empty out than it did the one cup of water. Correct, correct. That's because we're trying to use so much bandwidth that it's actually queuing up inside the funnel, the same way as it would queue up over your internet pipe. Now, Justin, that's great. However. I have more than two devices at the same time. So what if I have four devices going through all at once? Well, let's find out. So I noticed then that the water still flowed at the same rate coming through the funnel. Mm -hmm. But again, it took a lot longer with four glasses of water than with the two. Yep, it's because we have a lot more water or data trying to go through that pipe. So what happens is it queues up more. So that's kind of what my household is. But what about yours? Okay. Well, I'm a pretty tech heavy user at home. I have a lot of devices. We've got iPhones, we've got iPads, we've got smart TVs, we've got DVD players. And a lot of the times these are all being used at the same time. So I have easily six devices or more at the same time using bandwidth. So in order for us to demonstrate six, we're going to have to bring in an extra set of hands here. Yep. Whoa, what happened? I see the water still flowed at the same rate. Why is it wet all over? Well, what happened is we tried to push too much data across too small of a pipe. It queues up to the point where we see a slowdown. So essentially, you're telling me we tried to push six glasses through this size of pipe, yep. a 10 meg, as you told us earlier, when in fact, we probably needed to be on the 50 meg pipe to make all this data go through and still get fast response. Yep, that's correct. Okay, so how does this relate then to a business customer? Well, it relates to a business customer same way as your business grows, the amount of devices grows just like the amount of glasses of water. So should your pipe to try and accommodate those devices because otherwise what you'll find is that you'll have network congestion or what will seem like slower speeds. If you'd like to learn more, please chat with us online at arvic.net.